Hi, good evening all. Good morning, good night, wherever you are in the world. My name is Chanel Elidiana, and I am a business development uh, and partner uh, for the Reputation Poll. And our next interview is with Melroy Goesh, Indian filmmaker who has his film currently on Amazon. Uh, he's done some tremendous things, and I rather than me tell you what he's done and who he is, I think it's better that he comes on and tells you for himself. So shortly, we will be bringing on Melrose Goesh. Hi. Welcome, Melrose. Thank you so much for being with us at the Reputation I... Poll. How are you today? I'm doing very well. It's really good to see you. You too. I'm, I'm yeah. really happy that the connection is good. We had some connection oh, yeah. issues before, <laughs> but you sound That's very right. clear. It's, it's... Okay, thank you. And uh, I was watching the Earlier live with uh, Miss Polo International, and I was really inspired to know what she, what her thoughts are and what her dreams are. Well, that's always really good. Absolutely, you know? absolutely, yeah. definitely an inspiring. I think everyone that comes on the Reputation Poll is inspiring, because I, I've even read through some of your material, and I, I I was blown away by you know going from making short films to where you've taken that. How do you get, what, do, what does it take to get started? Well, I, I would say uh, one need to have a purpose and a dream and a proper planning to take the dream on the right direction. Okay. So uh, I, to be very frankly, I, when I was in school and I never thought I would be in the films because I was uh, really good in art, as an artist. So. Okay. My dream was to, my aim, I could say my aim was to become a teacher, art teacher, but then so that the difference between an aim and having a goal and a plan. Uh, so I end up in, end up in becoming a uh, web developer, mm -hmm. graphic designer. Okay. And I had this passion of knowing films and going deeply about films. So back in before 2005, there was no YouTube. And oh, wow. there were no YouTube tutorials as well. And mm -hmm. to get me into film schooling, there was not much uh, schooling taught in, in, in my place where I am right now, Goa. And the film wasn't that picking up back then. So yeah, okay. for, for Goa, uh, you know, on the whole of India, of course, it's a huge thing. But there are many states in Goa, as in many states in India, and yeah. Goa is one of them. And so for us, uh, uh, very common uh, occupations are uh, uh, sailors and you know, that kind of thing because we are very rooted with Portuguese culture and uh, so thinking very out of the box to be to films it was very different because a lot of people said like no, you're getting into films are you sure about actually making that into a career and I said yeah of course I would <laughs> you know and to set a benchmark right there starting with a short film and having the very confidence, you know, and and although a lot of people who I met, they said, Milroy, uh, it won't take you anywhere. This is not your type. You have to get doing something which is mainstream mm -hmm. career, you know, and uh, it was like getting into Bollywood. It's a huge thing, you know, uh, and I wasn't aiming for Bollywood. I wasn't, I wasn't aiming to to get somewhere, I was able to create myself. You know, I was planning to create myself out of nothing. And uh, amazing. And yeah, so I I got this. Uh, uh, you know, short film was that went through a couple of festivals and gained recognitions there, and uh, was mentored by one of the French uh, uh, guy, uh, the couple, I would say. He and his wife, they were really supportive and they actually uh, motivated me to, you know, take this further. Okay. So I'd say it's a self-belief, you know, if you believe in yourself, then you see everything come to you with abundance of possibilities, you know. Mm. So I that's truly believe what I, that. Yeah. So, you know, if you try to create 
self hurdles that's your thought if the thought says i will not be able to do that then you will not be able mm-hmm. to do that you know so it's have to tell you i would really yeah i would really relate to my uh, whole journey to to do with something that i believed yeah thank thank you for sharing that you have a very strong mindset it's hard when you're constantly being told no you can't or don't do this you should do that um it's always hard to be the first person to make a difference um uh, i think it was uh, nelson mandela who said when it's done it's done so i i yes. really admire your um, your mindset because sometimes you don't always have that support you have to be the support for yourself so when you stepped into this big world of filmmaking did you have to build a team Yeah, of course uh, i started making my team from very small uh, with a short film when i when i spoke to see when i wanted to make a short film initially i wanted a guy who would work on cinematography you know okay so i, I spoke to my neighbor uh, who who had a small camera back then so like <laughs> would you like to be the guy behind the camera he said of course so i learned how to build a team you know and Excellent. to make this big film um it all happened easily in a way i already knew the procedure while i was working on my short films the small small projects that i've done have taught me a various things to level up you know okay so it wasn't that difficult for me to take a huge project and that was actually from the uk uh the producers uh, the company that offered me to do this film they were from the uk and they, they were they flown down to india to have a meeting with a couple of film directors wow and i was uh, yeah i was the last guy they had to <laughs> deal with because they wanted to be sure who they are dealing with yeah and oh. before they could fly back yeah, this is one, one thing they said uh you know um uh, i personally met uh, a scam artist just before they could meet me wow and and uh, i was really about to get scammed so when i met i was meeting them i was a little bit uh, not sure uh, this is the guy that we should really film producers uh, from the uk as they say mm-hmm. or uh, are they going to be another scam so before we conclude the meeting with these producers i happen to tell them i'm so sorry i took you back but i like to tell you something that made me actually not trust you in the first first in the beginning Mm-hmm. I told them like see I met a scam artist and this is what happened and before they could wind up this made they said well Roy why don't you write this story maybe we would look into it maybe we will see if that story will take you to this big film yeah. so I started writing this film and I wrote the script and I sent them and and they they said like Roy we met a couple of directors in India but there was something about you and we like to go with you and this story we really want to produce it okay. and <laughs> and yeah i i never thought this would even go for oscars and uh, you know get me such a huge recognition there on amazon prime and you know that wow just like that <laughs> just yes. you know one day you're just walking and the next minute you're flying it just ha- it can happen just like that and i think because you had a reputation that was not tarnished it meant that this opportunity when it came you didn't have to question that side of your life which meant you can it's just ticks 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 let's go but if there were um questions about who you were then that could have created a problem for that opportunity to happen for you of course the repetition is not something that you can build overnight mm-hmm. uh it's not that happens in a week or in days it's a process you know yeah. it's a it's from your schooling it's from your not schooling i would say it's from the family mm-hmm. how yeah, you've been raised yeah. how they i would be very thankful to my family because they are the one my, but i don't have parents right now but they were the one who taught me the right way to earn this reputation you know it's mm-hmm. uh, you know it comes from the family type of friends that you make type of community mm-hmm. that you try to associate you know even if you are into a wrong community but then you have a choice to choose the right people to be with so 
I guess uh, throughout my journey from the point one to here, uh, I would say I always been very selective to who, who I should spend time with and who I share my energies mm -hmm. and who I, you know, get inspired because see, we get inspired the time we share with the other person. Yes. And uh, if I have this repetition, I would say from the family first and secondly, the type of friends that I made, the type of group of uh, people that I've been with yeah. have shaped my repetition, have shaped my identity and maintained to this point that I would say uh, that what, that's what matters. And I always mm -hmm. tell a lot of people when I go about giving speeches or coaching, uh, I would say you have to choose the right type of community or the friends to be able to call yourself who you are. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I hope everybody heard that. It's not sometimes you might be doing everything wonderfully, but it's the people that you surround yourself with that could easily change that for you. And it's, it's unfortunate that that happens. But I'm really inspired and really interested in how you know, your idea was picked up and then developed. Did you believe it was happening? What was happening? Did you, were you like, is this real? Well, I, I tell you, I did have doubts in my uh, way of working, but I never stressed on the doubts. I created mm -hmm. my thoughts that I was able to do it, you know? Because I believe uh, when you have doubts, you should create something, another alternative to believe, not the doubt that. to yourself. So mm -hmm. I always do that. So, you know, it's a balance within both. You cannot mm -hmm. always get here to the, you know, I mean, focus on the doubt. And That's if you keep really. focusing, you are expanding the doubt. And that doubt becomes a huge problem to you. And you end up believing that doubt and that doubt <laughs> finally become true. So if you have a doubt that this will not happen, mm -hmm. create another thought in your mind that it will happen, but I will make it this way. You know, create a path. That's why I believe in creating a path than having an aim, because aim is like very common saying when you have an aim or ambition, it's very common saying. But that's, everybody says that. But with, without a path, without a proper planning, there's no such thing called aim, you know. So when we are aiming at an apple with, an, with, a, with a bow, um, we have to create a path, right? It should go this direction. So aiming and creating a path are two different things. Even, even a sharpshooter, they may aim, but then they need to create a path dependent on the wind speed that the bullet mm -hmm. should go through in that wind. And that's the path they create before shooting the right target. So, you know, that's all that matters about uh, uh, believing differently about uh, the right thought and the, your doubt. So mm -hmm. that's what I, I would say, yeah, I focus on the right thing. I focus on the creating something that is right mm -hmm. and I don't keep much focus on the doubts, you know? I'm going to write that down because that's probably one of the best things I've heard all day. It, Thank you. <laughs> I, I, you sound so wise. You are so wise. And um, I, I love that. It's like you're, you're interfering in the negative. You're creating a disruption in whatever negative thought you have for your own purpose. And I think it's, it's great if you can interject when negativity comes into your life. You you find a way to disrupt the process. And that's what you're talking about. And I've, I've never heard it said like that, which makes it more easy to understand and digest. I'll try it. I don't know how good I'll be. But um, <laughs> Melrose, just to let you know, there's been so many comments here that I want to share with you. Um, and okay, so somebody said, when are you making your next film? Pepsi said, when are you making your next film? I don't know if you want to answer that question. Yeah, of course. I, in fact, uh, now that I get a lot of uh, uh, connects who wants to make film with me, uh, and due to the pandemic, uh, things can going to get a little later. You know, and this year is going to be a time to prepare.
Oh, we've lost the sound a little bit. Morris, are you with us? Call. Oh, it was a call. Hello? Uh, you having yeah, a call? Yeah, it's suddenly, <laughs> okay. yeah, it's suddenly <laughs> you know. Okay, okay just, just, uh, just before you continue, Morris, I just want to say that Jackie said that this is inspirational. I wanted to let you know that there might be another call coming through. This is what happens when we interview on our phone. Sorry, I have to <laughs> no, mute that's that. Okay. <laughs> that's okay. I'm um, back, Jackie, I'm back. <laughs> yay! Jackie said that this is inspirational. I want to share that with you because that warms my heart. Hearing her say that, well, seeing her write that. Um, we have, we have so many. We have thumbs up. We have lots of emoji signs, um, giving you a lot of support encouragement and um, just i someone said that you're their mental that you are you're the greatest motivator like the com compliments are just flooding in so tell us you were saying your next film <laughs> yes about the next film i'm so sorry about the wrong interruption that happened well um mm -hmm. see so like i said i i take every negative negativity into positive so when someone asked me, what do I plan to do in the pandemic? I never said that pandemic is going to affect me. It's never affected me because I took this as a long break. I always wanted a break. And yeah. so this happened. So I took the break and make, so I have a lot of time on my hand to develop stories and create new business opportunities. So, okay. so as we're running a record label, because we kept on signing new artists, give them a space to get them on the record label. And then we have also more business running into web development. Like I said, I was into web designing and web developing and mm -hmm. graphic designing. So I took this opportunity as pandemic to restart these businesses that were, you know, all hidden behind my film career. So, okay. so all this while I was so busy working on the films and this year I thought like, okay, it's the right time to, you know, bring back my previous ventures into light, you know. And I created a business and I carried a lot of uh, income over this time. Because, Fantastic. You know, yeah, so I was not sitting back and whining over like, why this pandemic? Why I can't go out and film? I said, no, mm. it's good that I'm home. I could start writing a new story. I could start connecting right. with new people. and. And I'm, work, I'm also writing a book, and my brother wrote a book a while, uh, sometime, uh, while his journey to back home, and and he completed his book during the pandemic, and you know he released his book during the pandemic. So it's like, uh, you know, there's nothing going to stop Amazing. you when you have a huge planning. You know, you can just go on and on, and create uh, opportunities to yourself rather than complaining. You know, so uh, as I said. Uh, in this time, I was getting connected with a lot of film producers, companies mm -hmm. that uh, want to look into my schedule and uh, get me booked for the next year. Mm -hmm. And uh, as they know, if I do their film, they want to get it back, my film on Netflix or uh, Amazon Prime. So it's like whole sort of planning is going on, you know, behind this white curtain here. <laughs> you know, it's like uh, wow. there's nothing stopping, you know, when you have a huge planning for yourself you know i'm loving absolutely everything that you're <laughs> saying i'm so excited i can't wait to um to see what you've got behind that veil um it's it's nice to know that such great productivity can take place at a time where there's so much confusion um to grab your mind and have yourself focus during this time is is a real um what can i say the word I'm trying to find, I can't even think of it. It's <laughs> a, a, a real yeah. compliment to you, should I say. <laughs> I got there in Thank the you. end. Um, <laughs> so, Malroy, I, um, I, I hate when the interview, because I, it's so, so inspirational, everything that you have said, and you have a way of breaking down what you are saying so that we understand very clearly through visualization 
of what is happening and how where your mind is at. So I think it's great. That means the book is going to be awesome. Um, <laughs> what is the book called, by the way? <laughs> I, I won't give out the name right now because it's uh, it's it's going to be a surprise. Really, that I'm going to write to the press about it. Okay, <laughs> okay. We we want an exclusive here at the RP at the Reputation. Sure. sure I can't sure. wait because I. Just listening to you, you're very, um, very, very good at uh, articulating what it is, the message that you want to get across. And all I've taken from you, and I'm sure everybody else can agree, that it's just been inspiration, 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 mindset, being driven, being focused. And yeah, kudos to you. Um, well done on all your achievements. Thank you. And you also have done very well. You are a very great host. And oh, I watched your you. first first live with Roy Roy Fernandez, uh, the U.S. UN ambassador, and I loved it, the way you have you know hold up to the face. You were really calm, and I was like, this girl is really great at her work. Oh, thank you, know? you so much. <laughs>